and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis mid-range and ranked. We played this deck uh, during our 12-hour stream. Uh, it was the last deck that we finished up with, and it felt really good. You know, it felt pretty powerful. Um, and, uh, you know, we just played like a regular league through it and went 5-0 with the deck. Um, but wanted to try it out in ranked because uh, even though it did feel pretty good there, uh, there are some things I'm a little worried about with the deck. Um, but I could see it, you know, I could see it being a, a really solid a really solid deck and a good choice to be playing, or I could see it being a little um, underpowered. I'm not really sure. So, you know, that's what we're going to be doing here. We're testing it out here in ranked. We'll be playing like five matches or so with it. Um, so some things I'm a little worried about, or I guess I guess we'll just kind of talk about it together. So basically what we have here is we have, you know, Knight of the Ebon Legion, Dreadhorde Butcher, and Thief of Sanity as early spells that are all just pretty good spells on their own that can eat up removal spells and um you know slow down the opponent like while they have to like interact with those cards and while they're doing that then we have our top end of nickel bolus the ravager and nickel bolus dragon god take over the game because these nickel boluses are really strong and really good at taking over games but if we're only playing just uh you know if we're going grixis control and just playing a bunch of like removal spells and stuff and trying to stay alive and then play Nickel Bolus Dragon God while we're behind, it's not nearly as powerful because the opponent's able to like attack it down and and everything. However, if we try to you know start ahead or you know keep even with the opponent with these other threats that that keep them on the back foot, then uh, if we get to play Nickel Bolus Dragon God while like the board's even or if we're ahead, it'll just take over. Uh, I really should should have got some water. I haven't had any water today during the stream. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so that's that's kind of the thought process here behind the Grixis midrange list. What I'm a little worried about is that Dreadhorde Butcher and Thief of Sanity actually end up being a little too weak. <clears throat> There's a lot of times, you know, like if the opponent's just playing some creatures, the Dreadhorde Butcher doesn't get through, and it, it doesn't pull its weight. Kind of the same thing for Thief of Sanity. You know, it trades down on removal all the time. It doesn't match up well against Little Teferi. Uh, where Dreadhorde Butcher does match up well against Little Teferi, but Thief doesn't. Um, doesn't get through like a Boreal Grazer. So I'm not sure. Um, I could see playing War Boss instead of Thief, certainly. Um, I I think I like Thief better right now. You know, I'm, I'm at least trying Thief out, but that's that's a slot that, that could change. Um but but that that's what we have here. Um, yeah, Daredevil is very good against Esper. It's not so great against vampires. Vampires usually only has like four spells in their main deck. Usually like two cast down, two mortify, or you know like some, something like that for Daredevil. So Daredevil is not so great there. Um, but yeah. Anyway, th those are some things to to be thinking about. Um, I'm getting extra blood sun in here. Getting some one more egos in here. <clears throat> For our scapeshift matchup. Basically, I'm trying to find a deck that's like real good against scapeshift, and I wonder if this kind of Grixis is it where we can have like some some early pressure and we'll have Blood Sun and Unmoored Ego, and you know, we have a good amount of Legion's ends, and you know, we can pressure to little to fairy. So I like I wonder if this deck like that's that's what I really want to try out. Um I, I like Grixis Control right now. I have a Grixis Control that we played last Sunday that I like, and you know I'm going to be updating that, and we'll be playing another. We'll be playing Grixis Control here pretty soon, one of the upcoming days here. And I like Grixis Control, but I want to see how good Grixis Midrange is, and if I like it as much and or more than Grixis Control. So that's that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's play like around five matches here, and give it a try. Probably don't want to start with just the hand that doesn't do anything until turn four, though. <clears throat> the 
the main the main thing as far as changes since the last Sunday with Grixis control. The main thing is that. Hmm. Is that there's no blood suns in the list, and I I want to put blood suns in. That's so that's the main thing is I gotta figure out how to get blood suns in there. So while they they can't cast the growth the grow from the ashes yet, and they can cr cast growth spiral. Darn it! Man, circuitous route is so good. They have two. Just have to take crisis. We're not going to win if we only have two lands. That's not going to work. Okay. Oh yeah, we have 25 in here, right? Yeah, we got 25 lands. Okay, well, let's go to a new game. So we'll get Legion's End, uh, Duress, Blood Suns, Chandra, Chandra, Unmorty Go. Let's see, Cast Down. Um, Hostage Taker. I guess Angrath maybe is not the worst. Attacking their hand. Don't really need Bedevil. I guess Noxious Grass was going to be better than Lightning Strike. I guess I should keep... Hmm. Is, like, Knight of the Ebon Legion just not good in this matchup? It didn't look like it was good. It didn't look like anything I wanted. I guess I cut Angrath. If Thief is connecting, Thief is awesome. The problem is is connecting, of course. But if Thief is connecting, it is awesome. I want to do this. It's too much Nicol Bolas Ravager. Ravager just kind of gets outclassed here. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn one Ravager and play a Bedevil. So got to be able to kill Krasis and little Teferi and stuff. <sighs> I 
do we keep another two lander this time without blue mana? I mean, if there was a blue source on board and we'd be able to duress Thought Erasure Thief, I would like it. But we don't have Unmoored Ego or Blood Sun, our two best cards. A mulligan. All right, better. Steam Vents is going. I could say Hydroid Crisis with this ego. All right, fair enough. The, re the reason why I'm saying I could say Krasis is because we have the double Blood Sun. So if we if we think the Blood Suns will shut down Field of the Dead, we could name Krasis. This will probably take out the Rejuvenators. I have other plans. My yeah, Deckmaster is still down. It's been down the last couple of days. I don't know exactly why. Wait, what the heck? Okay, they just took out the escape ship. That's fine. I'm good with that. Things. Well, I don't love where we're at right now. Four lands in a row. We're going to need some more interaction, probably. Like, basically, if, if Blood Sun leaves, we're in trouble. But even just like a 5 5 Krasis is certainly annoying. I mean, I guess I have the Ravager that kills it. But I mean, if they draw a removal for Blood Sun, we can be in a lot of trouble because we don't have like a. A sweeper too much or anything. Mere scratches. So I guess I could go. All right, drawing another Ravager that that helps. Okay. Just give him two emblems. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Oh, the cosmos you hot are mine to control.
Why not flip? Because I wanted to get the second Blood Sun in play. And... <clears throat> so that's why I didn't flip. Because I really valued the second Blood Sun. Because, yeah, they could have just had Teferi Sorry, bounce one Blood Sun and then Scape Shift. Don't worry. I got this. is infuriating. So we we could have just died if I would have gone transform Bolos. Um Gotta be unlikely that they actually scape shift here, right? Yeah, not surprised that was their card. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. I'll protect you. Let's slow this down. I've got it. All right, let's do this thing. So they have like one turn to kill me basically. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah, no no pressure. Yeah, crisis. Yeah, crisis can be how they can gain life. Cuz gain life lands of course don't gain life with the blood suns in play. Game three. I guess Hostage Shaker is great against Crisis. Really not that bad against Rejuvenator or even a Boreal Grazer, to be honest. Think Hostage Shaker is better than Thief? I'm kind of thinking Thief on the draw is going to be going to be harder to connect with Thief. All right, let's play Hostage Shaker over a Thief. Elder Spell. Could see Elder Spell being kind of good. Getting counters on like the Nickel Bulls Dragon God. No, maybe not. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play one hostage take over the third thief.
guess. I guess Chandra is double red. I don't like I don't like our chances here. Is it Yeah, it's the beginning of the month. You know, like it's the beginning of August, so the rankings reset. So we're back down to platinum again. It's a new season. It's always Veil vale Summer. Responsibility. Trust me, I have a plan. Mm. So Krasis draws draws him a bunch of cards. I've got time. Where they're not likely to cast Scape Shift, and Nicol Bolas the Ravager makes them discard Scape Shift, kind of thing. Where Krasis is going to be a lot more annoying to deal with. Yeah, so they didn't play Scape Shift because they wanted to put counters on Blast Zone. And it's not like getting... Getting more uh, lands out of their deck may not even really be that great of a thing for them. I will return. Let your weak Minds crumble. Here we go. I will return one day. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. I guess that's land number seven. The Flips Ravager. I could like Legion's End plus Bedevil, and then they uh, don't exile Grazer. But there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Well, our hand wasn't like the best. You know, like we didn't have our haymakers there, but that matchup did feel like it wasn't so bad. 
it's you know it's not like one that we can't lose but it felt like we were a little favored there <laughs> beating scape shift is tough that's, that's definitely something to celebrate Yeah, yeah, I like Grixis Colors too, and Grixis does have good tools against Scape Shift with having Unmored Ego and Blood Sun. Being able to play both of those is a good reason to be playing Grixis right now, and a lot less people playing like Mono Red. What's my favorite deck in Standard? The Mono Black Control that we played the other day. That's my favorite deck. I also like Rix's stuff, though. Yeah, Bolas. Both those Boluses were awesome, but yeah, making them exile stuff every turn. And then, yeah, the discards, like that four mana Bolas. Yeah, discard Scape Shift, discard the extra Field of the Dead. What are the win cons? Just all, all the creatures and Planeswalkers. Those are all win conditions. I, I don't know exactly how bad the mana base would be for the deck without using the rotating dual lands, but but certainly a lot worse. Because the hard part, like, this deck needs to be really black heavy because of Nicol Bolas Dragon God being triple black. And the rare scry land that's available in these colors is a blue-red scry land, so not black. I guess Dreadhorde Butcher is kind of awesome here. Well, no, they block Land War Elf, and then I can't do damage to Paradise Druid. Okay, no, nah, I'm off it. Uh, I'm not sure, Storm. That's a good question. question is, do you think Grixis Midrange is better than Grixis Control because it protects Nickel Bulls better? And I'm, I'm not sure. And that's, that's what we're kind of finding out today. Um, I could see that being yes and no, basically. So I'm, I'm really not sure. I do like Grixis Control a lot, but I but yeah, I wanted to try out playing a little midrange. So that's nice. Get into ramp. Oh, I should have taken that Risen Reef. Let's start at a so I could minus one and get rid of the Risen Reef. The I'm going to go Your Emblem here, though, with having this. 4-4 four, four flyer in the air as well. They can play Dragon God next turn and, you know, get lots of emblems. It's rude. All right. Well, minus three wouldn't really get rid of the battlefield because min minus three would not kill Risen Reef, which would be like an important thing. Like, you know, the minus three wasn't getting rid of the Risen Reef because it's an elemental. Um, which is one thing that kind of makes Chandra not so good in this kind of matchup.
They play a lot of elementals. You know, Nissa lands are elementals. I'm honestly not sure what we're trying to do here for this with this matchup. Risen Reef Nissa. I do feel like my my list here is probably not so good against Nissa. Like these Dread Horde Butchers just kind of look silly. And I guess mass manipulation is like pretty devastating. Maybe I duress. All right, what if we go with this? Maybe I need this extra elder spell in here. Yeah, Legion's End could take out mana, mana creatures. I wish Legion's End hit Risen Reef. Yeah, to find the past decks, you can find them there on the Stream Decker page, or you can find them on the YouTube channel also. Either one of those. Um, so I kind of want to play Legion's End Elder Spell. I guess maybe i just do that instead of Duress. Now let's take the Duress. <clears throat> yeah, the... The just the regular deck list is just for the current list, but decks plural gets you all the decks where you can see past ones. Um, or like I said, I think it's easier to browse the YouTube channel. Like click on the video tab in the YouTube channel; it's easier to to browse that than on than Stream Decker, in my opinion. So either gust is red or green. So that this is not red or green. Legion's End is very good against Nissa lands. Yeah, it does. You exile all the lands with the same name that are creatures. It does work out very well there. I don't think I need a hostage shaker yet, though. Let's get rid of one of these cards. Eh, got rid of the Aether Gust. How about that? Because they could have a, you know, maybe get the second Krasis with the hostage taker. This little 2 2 isn't much. Do they have another Aether Gust? No. Probably gets rid of the 2 2 Krasis. Conceivable! My schemes are never ending. Hmm. I guess they could draw Nissa, and then that attack makes makes me feel yeah, like, like that's a really bad attack if they have Nissa. Yeah, no surprise here. Ooh. Well, either Gus is fine against the these. Nickel Bolas is, and also, you know, we played Chandra last game. My schemes have been foiled. I outsmarted you eons ago. I have a 
the schemes to attend to my intellect is without limit. All right, hostage takers, get it done. I was going to be playing the Thief of Sandy there also. Rank up Sunday is working out pretty well. It says over on my screen, it says 1,344 people in here. Wow, that is so many people. It is 1,362. Man, welcome, everybody. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Yeah, we're playing some Grixis midrange here on our Rank Up Sunday stream. <laughs> we have we have been drawing pretty well. Like that was, uh, you know, a real good curve for us and everything. But <laughs> Grixis decks can certainly be mean, especially uh, Dragon God, especially Nicobolus Dragon God. That is a mean card. Uh, thanks, Poppy. Uh, yeah, it's been treating me well so far. Yeah, Grixis has been treating me well so far. Do we got a Grixis mirror? Yeah, the Slesnia midrange is already up on YouTube. I don't have a, a thumbnail for it. But it's up there. Hey, looks like this may be a mirror match. Um, I think I actually just trade here. Get him, Butcher. Yeah, the opponent's sleeves are the Mythic Championship sleeves, which were given out for playing in the last uh, Mythic Championship qualifier. Yeah, Grixis used to be bad against the tier 1 decks, but the metagame's changed. And, you know, Scapeshift Vampires are the Scapeshift and Vampires are the two top decks and I think Grixis has some good tools against those decks. This could just be the 75 mirror. This could like Magician Vasalo could just be, you know, watching the stream and liking the deck and playing it. That's what it looks like right now. I'm not. I'm not sure though, but it could be. Well, I think Grixis is better against Scapeshift than Esper is. So, I wouldn't say that Grixis is just worse Esper. It used to be worse worse Esper, but I don't think it is. Cr this minute because Scapeshift is the most popular deck in the format and I think Grixis is better against it. So we don't want to don't want to trade here 
because we're at six lands, they're at four. So we are one land away from transforming Nicobolus into being the Arisen. That's not quite the Arisen. Yep. That's a good good call there, Luritus Lur One. Yeah, Grixis has Blood Sun, and as we... Like, the, the two Nicol Boluses are very good against Cape Shift, um, in my experience of playing them. Like, they're, they're very good. I think, I think like, like, I think Dragon God's probably better than Teferi against Cape Shift. And the Ravager we saw, like, that last game was really good, also emptying their hands. Like, these, these are pretty good against the Scape Shift deck. Um, you know, lowering the Scape Shift deck's resources, which is what those cards do, is quite strong. All right, so if we're playing the mirror, we're gonna have to have we're gonna have to have good early removal. Hmm. Don't know exactly what I want to be doing here. Probably just the planeswalkers. Elder Spell for Planeswalkers 2. Like, Cast Down and Lightning Strike are kind of awkward at different times, but they're also really strong at different times. I think Legion's End is probably better than Cast Down, but then it doesn't kill Thief. Or if they were playing the Hostage Taker still. Let's go with two Legion's Ends. I think Thief is still going to be good in this kind of matchup, even though we're on the draw. I think we keep it. I think this is a really good Thief matchup where if we're we're both trading resources, a Thief is a, a like Thief of Sandy is the kind of card that if it goes unchecked, it just wins the game. So it's it's an absolute must answer from the opponent side. I could see like that I should have cut down on creatures. Um, like the other creatures, Knight of the Oven Legion and Dreadhorde Butcher, I could see like wanting to, like maybe I should have cut down on those. But our, our opponent mulliganed to six and then conceded from there, so they're probably going to be mulliganing to five and just didn't want to do that whenever I kept seven, I suppose. And yeah, they, they may have been on the last rank where it didn't matter if they lost. Could have, could have been the case. Uh, another steam vents. Need more black mana. To fairy, to fairy, legions end. Narset bell haunt. I want to take Narset. Oh gosh, you're such a good card, but I don't have black mana. I'm 
Just don't have black mana. I don't know, I may regret that. They tick up on playing Thought Erasure. If they I minus, I'm playing Thief of Sanity. Let's try this. This might be a bad idea. Okay, cool. Got that done. That was drop black mana. No, I am not making this up as I go. I don't think we just don't play Thief of Sanity. Last turn. It's the pain of not having black mana right here. Stop that. Now. <laughs> oh, I've done the hero thing before. If they're going to do it during my draw step to see if I draw another Dread Horde Butcher. No. Probably should have done that during my draw step. Where's that black mana at? I would have taken any land, though. Just play the Chandra. That would have been nice. No, Time Raveler is not that scary in this in this matchup. It's go. it's a solid card. You know, like it's drawn like that that Teferi, you know, bounced my Thief of Sanity twice and drew them two extra cards. Like it's not bad, but it's it's not as devastating as it is in other matchups. But like it it was certainly a really good card. Like Thief of Sanity is not does not match up well against Time Raveler as we saw there. who I am and no one is telling me what to do I'm really glad I can help with your coming. not being on fire problem hey at least I tried mm. this isn't a fight you can win I'll protect you Uh, not good. Not good at all. Alright, so we're gonna have this hostage taker try to kill this Teferi. And if they kill hostage taker, then I get Thief of Sanity back. Don't worry, I got this. No, I, I don't regret anything I did with the, the Chandra there. But yeah, little Teferi. Like, I had Thief of Sanity, my opponent had 
Teferi Time Raveler, and my opponent dominated me this game with the Teferi Time Raveler. Got them t so many more cards and everything. I know any home you're we'll see if they don't hit a removal spell here, though. Thief. Thief could help us. Ah, never mind. They just had a removal spell in hand the whole time. I've done the hero thing before. Man, I don't even have three black sources if I would draw Dragon God. This one's over. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to beat Ascanta. All right, sideboard. So it's like, I don't think that Thief of Sanity is like a card to take out here necessarily, but we did just see how Teferi dominates it. Maybe I trim one. My goal with Unmoored Ego is Command the Dread Horde, which I can't beat ever, and five mana to Fairy. Unclear how many, if any, um, Command the Dread Hordes they're playing, though. War boss is a lot better against Little Teferi than than Thief of Sanity. Yeah, I talked talked about that like at the beginning. Um, it's certainly possible to that need to change that, but Thief can do a lot, a lot of good things against a lot of other decks like decks that are there's a lot of decks on the ground right now um, where War boss isn't really getting through, and and Thief can. And I I like Thief more against Scape Shift than War boss, even with Little Teferi and a Boreal Grazer in mind. I don't think War Boss does enough against Scape Shift. Yeah, th there's no reason to play Blood Sun versus Kanta because they they can just not flip as Kanta. They can bounce Blood Sun easily with their Teferis. That's just not worth the spot. Well, I hope they have a whole lot of discard over there. They got a bunch of duresses and thought erasures and stuff like that. I have no desire to play Bedeck. Okay, so that just eats the Tyrant Scorn. That's fine. It's something we can play this turn and not get Thought Erasured. I'm going to trade that Tyrant Scorn eventually anyway. No, there's no Scrylands in this deck. Get him, Butcher. Yeah, get him. I 
They kept that card on top really quickly. Darn it. Missed the fairy. That was the worst case scenario. I was going to say maybe it was like a Narset. Let's skip to the good part. I'll just do this now, even though it could get vetoed, but you just let me know if, you're if it did get countered, then we know we need to attack Teferi. If it doesn't get countered, then you know, we attack them. Of course, that eats the Dispark, but also... Exiles a card from them. That'd have been really nice to draw duress right here, though. Ooh, got rid of Elder Spell. Okay. That's good for us. Go get him, Butcher. Don't let him gain life, either. Go get him. Good defense against Command the Dread Horde if you keep their life total down. This is felt a little better than just playing. Yeah, if we're just playing Grixis Control, you know, like we're weaker to all these Elder Spells and stuff, and, you know, we're just kind of having a variety of threats come in. It's kind of nice. But we know that they're playing Tyrant Scorn. As we saw there, they're playing Tyrant Scorn and Legion's End. I guess I could try to blank those by cutting Dreadhorde Butcher and Thief of Sanity, but I just don't have seven cards to really bring in. <laughs> the people's bear. Thanks so much for that Twitch Prime sub there, bear. Considering playing a lightning strike over a Thief of Sanity to attack their three mana planeswalkers better. Nah, I'll just keep that. I'll just keep the Thief of Sanities in here. Yeah. Not having, not having a good hand and just like the thought erasers just like not doing anything basically, that that certainly helped. Ugh, I need to draw three lands. I mean, Ravagers are definitely good, and we're on the draw. We'll keep it. No, I don't think you need the Black Knight in the mono black list. I I wonder if I should go back. Like last time that we played it, we took out the the Masker Girl. I don't know how much the Masker Girl would have helped, but you know we struggled also the last time we played it. Maybe maybe Masker Girl kind of helps more. Yeah, like maybe I was missing that card. Like maybe there should be a Masker Girl in there. Ascanta? Ooh, Ascanta. And out my back door. So I could have Mordigo away like Thief of Sanity, for example. Keep them from being able to play Thief of Sanities. I wouldn't mind if they took on Mordigo. Like, I'd actually just be happy with that. Yeah, and Masker Girl in the main. Darn. What? Why would they possibly surveil over a land? 
How does that make any sense at all? I guess, oh, because it was a tap land and, okay, that's, that's how, because it's just another tap land. All right, figured it out. Uh, probably Ego, Big Teferi. But we're hitting our land drop, so like I'm not playing it yet. And like they can't cast Big Teferi right now, right now anyway. But they're just like my deck's a lot worse without Dragon God. Their deck's a lot worse without Big Teferi. You have no weakness I cannot exploit. But uh <clears throat> That's that was kind of the the goal for the ego, but the ego is just not really doing anything here. All right, so I need Ravager to kill Nar Narset first before I take up Dragon God because you know I don't get to draw another card. Ugh. All right, well. Won't lie, I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Go get him, buddies. Good old Chandra. Well, Grixis mid range. It's feeling pretty good. Yeah, the mid range definitely seems a little better. Yeah, because I know, like, with Grixis control, I definitely really struggle against Esper control. And so, yeah, Grixis mid range. Winning that, you know, Dreadhorde Butcher was, was good and everything. You know, like, it, just having different angles of attack was pretty nice. Um. What am I getting rid of here? Maybe Thief? So. Yeah, today's been a great rank up day. Bleh. Land of Worlds is rough because I just attack with Dreadhorde Butcher. They just block. I could just cast down it. Yeah. Maybe I should have kept Thief instead of Ravager. I don't know. Bleh. Not really a good trade for me, but it's not a bad trade though. Um, I don't know if I've ever said I've been like a hater of this kind of Grixis deck. Really hate stuff, just kind of in general, though. Also, but yeah, I'm I've been pretty impressed today with this deck. I'm pretty impressed here. Don't know if we're winning this. You know, if they have like, I don't know. They're gonna have like scary things. Like they discarded Nissa earlier. 
their hands got to be incredible. You know, like a, a Cavalier Thorns, for example. I'm going to put a real thorn in my side. <laughs> my wild card collection hates Todd. <laughs> I do play tons of different decks. Power surges through these lands. Through the lands. Behold, nature's true power. What? <laughs> I think they're they're just accidentally clicked the attack all. Like I think that was a mistake. They can't attack like they had to chump with the Risen Reef. At least one Risen Reef had to chump there. I think these like these Risen Reef matchups, I think, are where we're going to struggle the most. We've been getting pretty fortunate to win. Like, we won one earlier and we just got game one there. But kind of thinking through matchups, I, I don't think that we line up very well here as a generalization. Um, last time I cut the Butchers and put in all these Duresses, put in the Noxious Grasps, cut the Chandra because it doesn't kill elementals. I went with this. Let's try it again. Alright, so we got turn two Thought Rager to be able to take Risen Reef before it comes down and draws our opponent millions of cards. They are playing Bant stuff. I wonder if that should have changed anything. I forgot they were playing white. With my sideboarding. No, I don't think so. Sideboard's still great. Oh, really? Mountain Windcat, you played five Grixis matches in the last seven games? Dang. Ugh. Don't think that's a card I want to have. Facing down Voracious Hydra. Voracious. Good draw. It's a very good draw. In fact. So we have to worry about Voracious Hydra next turn. Hmm. Don't draw the land. I don't I don't know what a land would have really dealt for done for me. Okay, so land would have let me cast down Ambedevil. Land would have done for me. Mountain Windcat with that resub. Thanks for that four month resub there. I appreciate that. Ninth sub of the day. So I know, like, here, like, casting Bedevil meant that if we draw land, we could Thief plus still hold up cast down for Voracious Hydra. But they just could have, um, you know, like, Nyssa, something like that, like a Planeswalker that I want to be able to Bedevil. I guess I'm just casting it on the Hydra anyway, though. I guess I should have just used Bedevil before.
injured magnificent world. I like our chances the here. Shall conquer you. If that last card in hand's nothing, we're gonna get this. And there we go. Job, lightning strike. No, Blight Beetle is not worth playing at all. No, just, no, don't play Blight Beetle. Like, the only reason to play Blight Beetle would be in some kind of really creature heavy deck, like maybe like a Vivian type deck, like a deck that really cares about a lot of creatures. And, uh,. Like Vivian Champion of Wilds and Vivian Arcbow Ranger, where you can make the creature bigger, also. That'd be like the only spot I could possibly see playing that card. Um, so there we go. That's a 5 0 in ranked here, ranking up with Grixis Midrange. Deck felt good. You know, like I can't, don't, you know, can't complain about anything. Um, we did. We did draw well. I mean, obviously, like, we were winning all of our matches. We did, but, you know, like, this is why we're playing four Nickel Bulls, the Ravager, four Nickel Bulls, Dragon God. Those cards felt really good. Um, Knight of the Ebon Legion didn't really do very much for us, but, like, that first game of that last set, you know, it was just kind of there and attacking the opponent, and it's just, it's a one-mana card, you know? Like, there's, you can't expect, like, too much from a one-mana card, but it, it really does kind of everything. Um... And yeah, like there's, like that's the thing, like Knight, Dreadhorde Butcher, Thief of Sanity, they have their downsides. There are times when they're not, not that good, but other times they can run away with games. You know, like if you, if you have like a late game scenario where you just traded um, a whole bunch of resources with, you know, with each other and like you're just both top decking, like if you're ever in top deck mode, all three of those cards are really good top decks or all three of them can kind of run away with games also. Hey, what's up, Dr. Tobias Funk? Um, but, but yeah, there's other times like where your opponents just have creatures and they block them and you're just looking at them and like, uh, those, those creatures aren't doing anything. All right, sub goal. Thanks so much there, Tobias Funk. Yeah, we are on fire today. I mean, yesterday we were like losing all of our matches and I was all sad and everything and that luck has turned around today. That's how magic goes. You know, tomorrow we may lose all our matches again. Yeah, I don't, I mean, we did win all our matches, so I don't, I don't think there's really anything I would change the next time. I think I would just kind of keep on with the Thief for now. The Thieves for now. Um, we didn't draw Angrath ever, but I still think Angrath's a really underrated card. Um, but we didn't draw it. Um, maybe over time, it proves that we should... Like, maybe we should be playing something else instead of Angrath. But I like Angrath a lot. Yeah. Angrath is pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I need to not stream tomorrow to skip the losing streak. There you go. All right, so that's Grixis Midrange. Great league there. Uh, hope you all try the deck out and let me know uh, how you like it. You know, if you're trying it out on, if you're watching this later on YouTube and you're trying it out, let me know in the comments how you like it. And, uh, if the creatures are really holding up for you, and if you've been drawing Angrath, if it's been good, all that kind of stuff. Um, but there we go. So yeah, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there too. But thank you so much for watching Grixis Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.